Hi, I'm a tutor at Uplads and today we are going to cover the basics of Tableau. To begin with, let us know what exactly is Tableau. This presentation is by Uplads and the contact details and the email IDs is mentioned as below. Tableau is a business intelligence tool for visually analyzing data. Users can create and distribute an interactive and shareable dashboard, which would then depict the trends, variations of data in the form of graphical representation. Tableau can connect to multiple files, relational and big data sources to acquire and process data. This software also allows data joining, blending and real-time collaboration, which makes it unique from other legacy BI tools. Excel, which has been a legacy and very important tool, but with the growing advanced technologies and time, ease of a user is given tremendous importance. And so with all these advanced features came Tableau. As a leading data visualization tool, Tableau has many desirable and unique features, which we would cover in the later few presentations. Its powerful data discovery and exploration application allows you to answer important business decisions in seconds of time. You can use Tableau's drag and drop interface to visualize any sort of data, explore different views, and even combine multiple databases easily. It does not require any complex scripting. After analysis and creation of a dashboard, sharing it with others is as easy as publishing it to Tableau server. To move ahead, let us see what are the features of Tableau. The speed of analysis, as it does not require high level of programming or scripting expertise, any user can have an access to data, can start it to derive value from data because of its drag and drop functionality. It is self-reliant. Tableau does not need a complex software setup. The desktop version, which is used by most users, is easily installed and it contains all the features needed to start and complete data analysis. Visual discovery. The user explores and analyzes the data by using visual tools like colors, trend lines, chart, and graphs. This is very little script to be written and Everything can be done by drag and drop. Blend various data sets. Tableau allows you to blend different relational, semi-structured and raw data sources in real time without expensive upfront integration cost. The users need not need to know how the details of the data is stored as Tableau takes care of all these things. Real time collaboration. A very important feature of Tableau is its real-time collaboration. Users can connect to real-time data sources within seconds and can have their dashboards easily available within clicks of data. And you can see the latest data just by refreshing their web browser. Isn't it cool? The next is centralized data. Tableau server provides a centralized location to manage all the published data sources. And then you can delete or change permissions and manage the schedules in the convenient location. The next that we have to see are the Tableau products. Tableau itself has multiple products like the desktop, public, online, server, reader, and prep. To start with, Tableau desktop. It's a rich feature set which allows you to code and customize reports right from creating the charts, reports to blending them all together to form a dashboard. All the necessary work is created in the Tableau desktop. For live data analysis, it provides connectivity to data warehouse as well as other various types of files. A Tableau developer or designer can then create various dashboards on Tableau desktop and publish it on the server for multiple users to view it and gain some knowledge out of it. What is Tableau Public? As the name says, it means that the workbooks created cannot be saved locally. In turn, it should be saved to Tableau's public cloud, 
which can then be viewed and accessed by anyone. This is the most cost effective version of Tableau. But there is no privacy for the files to saved here as they are on the cloud since anyone can download and access the same. The next is Tableau Server. So when a person or when a user creates dashboards on Tableau desktop, there should be a place where you can publish your dashboards and it can be viewed internally within your organization from multiple users. So the place or the storage area where you publish your dashboard is the Tableau server. This software is specifically used to share the dashboards, visualizations that are created in the Tableau desktop applications across the organization. To share dashboards in Tableau server, you just simply have to create your work in Tableau desktop and then upload it so that all the other users, the licensed users can easily access it. The security is very high in Tableau server and it is much suited for quick and effective sharing of data in an organization. The admin will have the complete control over the server and the hardware and the software would be then be maintained by the organization itself and not the Tableau cloud. Tableau server has many advanced functionality like the feature of alerting, scheduling, monitoring the performance of users and the dashboards, sharing and downloading it in a cross tab or PDF or CSV or image in various formats. The other product is Tableau Online. As the name suggests, it is an online sharing tool for Tableau. Its functionalities are similar to Tableau Server but the data is stored on servers hosted in the cloud, which is then again maintained by Tableau Group and not locally. There is no storage limit on the data that can be published onto Tableau Online. To publish, both Tableau Online and server require the workbook created by Tableau Desktop. The next product that Tableau provides is the Tableau Reader. Tableau Reader is a free tool which allows you to view the workbooks and visualizations created by Tableau Desktop or Tableau Public. The data can then be filtered, but editing and modifications are restricted in Tableau Reader. The security level is zero, as anyone who gets the workbook can view or it in Tableau Reader. If you want to share the dashboards that you have created, the receiver should have Tableau Reader installed on his machine or have access to, to view the document. Now, we have gone through the basics of Tableau and the products of Tableau. To summarize, let us see what is Tableau all about. It's a powerful and fastest growing data visualization tool used in the business intelligence industry for data analysis. The Tableau products Family consists of desktop, public, online, server, reader. Tableau prep being another part of this family basically helps in preparing and cleaning of your raw data. Tableau desktop has a rich feature set and allows you to code and customize reports. In Tableau public, workbooks created cannot be saved locally. In turn, it should be saved to Tableau's public cloud which can be viewed and accessed by anyone. Tableau Server is specifically used to share the workbooks, visualizations that are created on Tableau desktop application across the organization. Tableau Online has all the similar functionalities of Tableau Server, but the data is stored on servers hosted in cloud, cloud which are maintained by Tableau Group. Tableau Reader is a free tool which allows you to view the workbooks and visualizations created using Tableau Desktop or Tableau Public. Tableau connects and extracts the data stored in various places. It can pull data from any platform. The spreadsheet application used for manipulating the data, while Tableau is a perfect visualization tool used for analysis. Thank you. In the next topic, we would get started with the basics of Tableau desktop and its installation.